So I have each you know, asking uh, for some maybe input on a count that he's trying to attempt. And for all of you who are trying to also maybe practice or get better at Elliott Wave Counting and Chart Pattern Recognition, please do exactly this. Post your charts, send your labels, and I'll be happy to see if I can help. So he posted a chart of GNT to BTC pricing and posed some questions on how to count it. <clears throat> so first of all, this is a really good attempt, but I think um, maybe I can help. So here it is. First, this is, <laughs> I mean, talk about another pump, pump and dump. Okay. So if we want to try to count this, this is not impulsive. It's too much overlaps. When you have waves that are like, <laughs> if you're trying to do an impulse, and the waves are very overlapped, just like here. That's not an actionary set of five waves. It's a corrective wave. Whenever you see overlaps, and everything is <coughs> violating even rule between, let's say, four and one, usually would be uh, violated with a bottom of four, would easily overlap the peak of one. So this type of scenario is exactly what you're saying here. And you're thinking, how in God's name can I count this as an impulse? And you almost want to maybe force it. You might want to say one, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> I've tried that, done that, been there. It doesn't work. So whenever you see overlaps, stop looking for an impulse. It's a corrective phase. These all these swings are corrective with big overlaps. Chop, chop, chop. So having said that, what could this be? There you go. <coughs> so one, two, three, four, five now. To me, this is more like a W X W X Y. Which is also I, th I think it's called double three. Yes. Okay. And this WXY could be giving me a um be the subways of a, of a uh, corrective wave, but which corrective way? Am I going to go A, B, and C this way? No. Um, what I do is I take this, screaming down as the A. This is the A, this is the B, somewhere here is the C. This is a daily, so I will make it. Okay. <coughs> So it c begins as A, B, C. As an A, W, X, Y gives me a B and C. This is how I would count it. And to me, this makes sense because now I see how the overlaps can be corrective and acceptable in a count of a W, X, Y, making up acting as a subways of B. This is the A, W, X, Y, B. Now C of any wave is five waves. OK? 
Okay, so let's see if we can count five waves here. So that means we can do one, two, three, four, a little more to go, five. Okay, and then if you want to take this five further and count it, in it, it itself has to be <coughs> five of C has to be subdividable by four waves. Otherwise, and it could be ending diagonal too. It can be an A, B, C, D, E terminal. But usually that, <coughs> that you've seen that maybe it would be four diagonal type of triangles. You never see that in a one. I have never seen a diagonal on a wave one even in cryptos. So take this, blow this up. Let's now use patterns. Okay, here's a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. This is why I use, I tried using chest Elliott wave solo that got me into trouble. I just couldn't do it. Then I did a combination of chart patterns just like here with Elliott waves and one would confirm the other. That was the real value of the chart patterns just like here. So I'm trying to now confirm my wave 5 of C. I see a small head and shoulders top here. I am then going to measure the projection of that. Copy and paste it because I don't want to do the math. I'm the wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. There you go. And that's about maybe where I'll take it. Okay, but here's the thing. When I'm using head and shoulders sub daily like this, it's it's a little different because I would say any point below three. Okay, could be here, 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 anywhere here in this region could be the terminal point of C. But it could go lo as low as this, let's say. Now, if we are on 1, 2, 3, 4, wave 5 of C, now is the time to do what? Now is the time to start laddering in, maybe, if you want to make entry on this. You know where the p potential terminal point might be? Maybe you could overshoot it? I don't know. That's likely as that's possible as well. But it's almost done. Any point below 3, Maybe a wrong here, a wrong here, wrong there, however you want to place it. And most likely, look, we have a scenario where there will be a lower low, I'm sorry, higher low on the MACD, like so. And this is now again how I, why I like to use MACD. I look for mostly divergences and trend points, possibly. So if you see this is divergence and lower low in the price and higher low on the MACD, that's even a additional confirmation to give you a better lean towards that probability, the probable side versus the just a possible side. So I hope this is helpful. And um, if, you have any, if, you, if you have any questions, please do post.